In this video, we will show you how to install crop bars and crop bar vertical braces on your polytunnel. Crop bars span across the width of your polytunnel on intermediate hoops, and they are used so that the structure is more robust. Crop bars are not installed on the two end hoops. Here are the parts you'll need. Crop bars are supplied in three pieces. Two are 2.59 meters long and are flattened on one end and swaged on the opposite end. The other piece is 2.48 meters long and is plain on both ends. Connect the tubes together by locating the swaged end in the plain end. Secure the pieces together with a self-drilling screw four centimeters from the joint. Ensuring that both flattened ends are in line. Fit a Q-clip onto one side of the hoop, approximately head height. Locate the flat end of the assembled crop bar to the Q-clip. Push a bolt through the hole and loosely secure in place. Position another Q-clip on the opposite side of the hoop. Locate the flat end to the Q-clip. Push a bolt through the hole and loosely secure in place. We need to ensure the crop bar is level. Place a spirit level on the crop bar and adjust accordingly. Once the crop bar is level, firmly tighten the nuts on both Q-clips. Now we will fit the crop bar vertical braces. Crop bar vertical braces span from the crop bar to the hoop. There are two vertical braces per crop bar. Crop bar vertical braces are 1.4 meters long and are flat at both ends. From the ridge clamp, measure 40 centimeters along the hoop and fit a Q-clip. Locate the flat end of the vertical brace to the Q-clip. Push a bolt through the hole and firmly tighten. Repeat on the opposite side. Now fit a Q-clip to the crop bar. Locate the flat end of the vertical brace to this Q-clip. Push a bolt through the hole and loosely secure in place. You may need to lift the crop bar up to do this. Repeat this on the other side. Ensuring that the crop bar vertical braces are not pushing the crop bar down nor pulling it up. Once you are happy with the level, tighten both Q-clips. Repeat this process on the remaining intermediate hoops. You can find more videos to help you build your polytunnel and construct.firsttunnels.co.uk. We also have a construction helpline if you require any further assistance.